had a baby. A couple months later, I started to experience um, symptoms. One symptom I never experienced before. Um, I did experience shortness of breath, but I'm like, oh, it's just, you know, baby weight, I can get rid of that. Um, and then at nights when I would lay down, I couldn't breathe. It was almost like a drowning type feeling. And, you know, I stayed up all night long, me and my son, and I used to say, okay, I'm gonna make appointments to go to urgent care. But by seven o'clock in the morning, it would subside. I'm like, okay, whatever, I can go back to sleep. And this happened every night, and I dreaded night times because, you know, I'm like, oh God, I can't sleep now. Um, until one day I was in my apartment and I was going upstairs and my son's um, grandmother called. And um, she's like, what are you doing? I said, I'm going up the stairs. She's like, you're out of breath. I'm like, yeah. She was like, you have fluid on your heart. I'm like, I don't. I'm a healthy person. I've always been healthy. Nobody in my family has any heart disease, disease at all. And um, she said, you should go see your doctor Monday. I said, no, I'm going to the emergency room tomorrow. And, um, I went and lo and behold, it was fluid caused by something called postpartum cardiomyopathy. Um, and that's pretty much heart failure after you have a baby, which is very rare. And, um, you know, luckily, you know, they, and I was devastated. They was like, oh, girl, you'll be all right because we give medicines. 90 96% of women that have it, they recover with medication. I wasn't so fortunate. They tried medication after medication, dosage after dosage, and please tell me if I'm talking too fast. Um, but they tried dosage after dosage, um, nothing happened. And what it is, it affected the, um, the squeezing of the heart where it pumps you know, blood. Mine started out at 35. The normal is like 50, somewhere along, 50%, somewhere along those lines. Um, and then as the days dwindled down, it got all the way down to like 20. So um, they said, okay, we're gonna put you on the list. Um, you know, get you a new heart. But something in my spirit, when it started, I'm like, girl, you're gonna have to have a new heart. I'm like, okay, whatever. And so, um, you know, got on the list November 10th. I went to the doctor for a follow-up on the 16th. I did not want to stay, so I'm like, act normal, act normal. And you know, she was about to write me a prescription and send me home, and I promise y'all, all I did was sit back in my chair and I was like, <sighs> She's like, no, we're gonna go ahead and meet you. I'm like, all I did was breathe. But luckily, um, like I said, got on the list. The 10th was admitted the 16th. I was told on the 20th that I had a heart, and on the 21st, they dumped it, and I'm here. So. <laughs> yeah, so um, to say the least, it, and I hate, I don't know, when I tell people, it was actually a good journey. Like, um, I have no complaints, smooth recovery. Um, I just I just got a touch of um, steroid-induced diabetes and a touch of asthma, but hey, what is that? So, um, <laughs> you know, but it went really great. My parents are supportive, but, and you know, today should be a day that I should be celebrating. We all should be celebrating. And I'm happy to be the Women of Impact nominee. And I did a dinner with the other um, nominees a couple nights ago and they asked me what my why was. Today my why has completely changed. It was educating women and making sure this does not happen. I found out today <laughs> um, a member of my own community passed almost a, a year ago to the exact same thing that I had and unfortunately for her, the person that I spoke to today, she said it was just too late. And I'm like, excuse me, how, how was it too late? Nobody gave them information, so now it's personal. This is no longer, it's a why to educate women, but it's a why so we can stop this. Because it makes no sense for a child to have to grow up without a mom because it was caught too late. If we, we need to be educated, we need to be informed. Hey, doctor, I'm pregnant, congratulations. Postpartum, you know, depression, all that stuff. But let me tell you about a rare thing called um, postpartum cardiomyopathy. 4%, it happens to 4% of pregnancies, these are the symptoms, you're gonna have a healthy pregnancy. But I'm just letting, as a doctor, I'm just letting you know, just so you know, you're aware of the symptoms. I wasn't aware of the symptoms. Sadly to say, she wasn't either. So, how do we fix this? I'm going to bring awareness. It's not gonna happen again. Our doctors are going to let us know. And if they don't let you know, I'm here. I'm gonna let you know. Because I don't want this to happen. Kids shouldn't have to live without their moms. So. That's my why. Um, thank you all for listening, and um, yeah, that's it. Thank you all for coming out. <laughs>